released from his ride at Penske following the Sprint Cup Awards Banquet at the beginning of December. He's now with James Finch in Phoenix Racing. He spoke with John Roberts down in the Victory Lane studio earlier today. And Steve, thanks a lot. We have Kurt Busch joining us now. And Kurt, after a few days with your new team, new car, every, so much is new right now. It's, a, it's probably not that big of a learning curve for you actually driving the race car. But as far as getting to know all the new people involved in your new team, how is that going? Uh, it's been fun. It's been exciting. And the results on track have been um, over our expectations. I mean, today, to finish off our final qualifying run, we were second on the board on guys that made Q runs. So the energy with the team and the, the small group that we have, have. It's very intimate and it's very exciting to see these guys this pumped up about racing. Now, every time you've been in the Daytona 500, you've at least been close. You've had a great shot at, at, at winning this race, but you said yesterday you feel like this is one of your best shots ever. I finished second three times over the years. First couple times we were like, all right, still got you know years left in the bag. And what's fun is that I pushed Newman to win a few years back, and that was the closest taste of going to victory lane during the 500. Now I've got Hendrick Motors, chassis, bodies, and a little bit of technology. Hendrick, they're, they're the team to beat at Daytona every year. Absolutely, they are. And also, you know, people, when people might look at this move and say, okay, Kurt Busch is going to a single car team, that's not really the case. I mean, you've got some great backing in those other partners. Yeah, I mean, it, the way that Finch has it set up and his relationship with Hendrick, it's great. And to have Chevrolet equipment, so to speak, but it's a matter of us doing the work as a team. And this is, uh, this is a group that reminds me of my old Southwest Tour days where we're thrashing just to get the car to the track. And it's, uh, it's a you know, just a jamble to get things there. When you show up, man, we hope that we exceed our own expectations. And yeah, now you mentioned a second ago all the success you've had at Daytona and, and coming so close and pushing your teammate Ryan Newman to the win at, at one point. But also, the drivers we've talked to so far this weekend, everybody still talks about no matter what you drive or where you drive it, you dream of winning that Daytona 500. I mean, is that something you really, I mean, of course, would cherish? Well, you have to visualize that success and all the names that have won, all the greats that have been in the victory lane here and hoisted up that trophy. It's, it's a special moment, but it takes all of that effort to get there. It's the team. It's the, every bit of the package has to be involved, and you've got to have uh, lady luck on your side as well. And also the competition level in Sprint Cup racing, Kurt, is just, I mean, last year it was so close, evidenced by the championship, evidenced by so many different winners and so many first-time winners. Do you feel like that's going to be ramped up, the competition level in Sprint Cup, just a little bit more this year? Well, it is. Right now, uh, I see it as an owner's market where a lot of drivers are moving around and there isn't as much sponsor money to be uh, exchanged, so to speak. So right now, the drivers have to pull harder to, to get the, the job done, so to speak. So a lot of guys have moved around, and we'll see how it all shakes out. But it's just a matter for us on our team at Phoenix Racing to just do our thing and worry about our own gig. Now, now in your position now, you probably have a little bit more of a choice of dancing partners, whereas before in a multi-car team, you want to get together with your teammate. Have you thought much about that, about who you're going to work with when it comes time? Because it looks like the two-car tandem is here to stay for a while. Yeah, we'll see. We've got this uh, big drafting session coming up, and then uh, Dale Jr. wants to get together, new wants to get together and so with the Chevrolet emblem it opens the door to a whole new group of guys to work with. And those are some pretty good names to work with at Daytona. Oh absolutely so you know and Dale Jr. isn't one that wants to hang out in the back he wants to go to the front that's James Finch's philosophy too he wants to be up front leading laps so it could team up really well. Now is your full schedule set for this year? Yeah, I'm running every cup race and, nice. uh, you know, the shootout. We got a great sponsor with Tag Hoyer coming aboard, the full car. And then they're going to be a great associate at the 500 and my hometown race in Vegas. So talking with a lot of sponsors, trying to put deals together. It's almost like I got my briefcase for, for the sponsor stuff and the business side. And then I got my driver bag to show up and jump in and have the fun. Well, Kurt, best of luck, man. Uh, continued success here at Daytona. And best of luck with the new team because this is a team that has won a plate race before. Let's not forget that. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks a lot to Kurt Busch. And uh, we're going to come back in just a moment with much more for preseason Thunder at Daytona.